Hi, here is a camera I dig out from a cardboard box. It is a quite a rare uh, Zenith Automat camera made in 1990. So in fact, it was, this one is for, from the first uh, series of uh, Zenith Automat because the second series done uh, later did use uh, Western made electronics. But this one is uh, with a uh, microprocessor. But this one is uh, Soviet made electronics with uh, some uh, Soviet SMD technology. So the way you can recognize uh, them, you have to check the color of uh, timer LED. If the timer LED is uh, some kind of yellow orange, it is uh, Soviet electronics. If the LED is red, it is Western electronics. So of course the original one with the Soviet electronics is uh, way more interesting. I have both. I have the other one somewhere. So this one was made in 1990 and it is serial number 514 from this year. So it is one of the early, early made ones. So the obturator button here is a little rusty. So you have the quality seal of a USSR here, quality logo. I believe onto the later model it was not anymore. You have a uh, control wheel for, uh, for automatic and manual modes. And you have the have, um, ISO setting and uh, exposure setting. It is quite uh, straightforward. Of course, if there is no motor, it is a manual winding. Here you have a battery compartment. Some uh, half um, size uh, AA battery. Not sure the voltage. The old shoe here is uh, the shoe here is uh, plastic, not metal, and it is uh, an excellent uh, lens, uh, Helios uh, lens. But this one is K mount, opposing to the all the uh, previous uh, Zenith lens, which was uh, M42 mount, a screw mount. This one is the very first uh, K mount. It is uh, compatible with a uh, Pentax lens. So I don't, don't know if it did pay for the license to use it or if it is just a rip off, by the way. So you have here the Zenith written in uh, Cyrillic. And quite interesting, the name of the camera is Zenith Automat, but it does not say Automat here. They are not T's. So I wonder if it is a typo or what, because here you have a T. And here you have something else, and you have a. It looks like a letter M, but you do already have a letter M here. So it is really, really weird. Maybe if someone speaks uh, Russian and can uh, confirm me what is going on here. So on the rear, you have uh, still the made in uh, USSR. The USSR was already collapsing, but it is still written uh, made in USSR on the rear. And uh, I will try to open it for you. Not sure. Yes. So it is a curtain uh, shutter. Uh, uh, cloth top curtain shutter. And of course, uh, electron, uh, electronically controlled. So about the electronics, you have a flex circuit here at the top. Wrap around the prism and you have an overboard uh, here somewhere with the magnets for the, the shutter. So the lens is a very good one, made in an IT also. We can try to show you. It is really a correct uh, price quality ratio because they were not expensive at the time and uh, really with camera sucks really with the cam it sucks for close focus. So you can see the iris here. Like this. It is really a good little lens. So the form inside here is still most good. So here it is. 
So it is my uh, Zenit Automat number one. I must have a number two also wear. So maybe it is missing a little button in the not sure. So here it is for it. And uh, I start it into a particular pouch because I have not got the original pouch for it, but this one just uh, fits uh, just uh, almost uh, correctly, except for the screw uh, mount. So it is a Pentacon uh, in German uh, pouch. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more things. Bye bye.